Nokia has just presented the N85 and the N79. This is a pre-test. You are on CellularMagazine.it and I'm Emilio Vignapiano. Let's start with the slide up. As you see, this phone really looks like the N81. Same design, but the features are more similar to N95. The double slide, also how the things are put on the phone, are more similar to the high smartphone of Nokia. Let's see what we have. First of all, start with the display that is a 2.6 inch OLED. This really saves your battery more than 30%, Nokia says, but um, you have some little problems with the front light. In other situations, it's always very bright, always working pretty, pretty good. It's also fast, thanks to the new Symbian Feature Pack 2, third edition, of course. And uh, on the display, you find a camera, VGA for video calling, is sensor light, the speaker. This is a pre-test, Nokia has just presented it in the last 24 eight hours, but so officially we have this phone for just 24 hours, but the audio is really good. Also in different situation in the street or in, in the closed room or also in a very crowded place like at supermarket or uh, on the beach. Then we found uh, two keys that are the only one with the trackpad, are the only one that are uh, not flat, as you can see. They are gummed. The gum is not so tough, but it's pretty, it's working pretty good. They are just a bit small, but of course you always squeeze them. The key for the top, as you see, the wheel is working pretty good. This is just a proto, so we cannot say how it will work in the other model that will come to the market, but it's still working good. You have a light inside that buzz when you are under network, so this really helps you to understand when you have network or not. Normal keys that you find on all Nokia smartphone, they are flat but they are not um, sensor, so they are mechanical, no problems in your uh, pockets. This phone is a quadriband, GPRS, GSM, H connection, but it's also a three band UMTS HSDPA, so 900, 1900, 2100. HSDPA UMTS connection all around the world you will find your UMTS network. The keypad is completely flat as you can see. There is enough space for the thumbs. Also there is enough space for the last line. They are pretty big, well separated. There is no problem digiting numbers or SMS. Don't think that you will have no problems in email. It's just a, a numeric keyboard. There is also the other side slide. Now it's in the music mood, mod, sorry. When you put the play, start to search the songs. As you see, the screen automatically became landscape thanks to the accelerometer. If we open the camera, we have the zoom in and zoom out so you will use these other keys also for other functions not only music or engage game on the right side of the phone you have double speaker because it's a stereo sound that comes out the balance of the volume that can be used also during some application, like when you see a photos and you zoom in, you can zoom in and zoom out from the balance of the volume. 
a key to lock and lock the phone, the camera button that is on the back, the camera is great. It's a card size 5 megapixel with a focus length of 5.45 millimeter. There is also a double LED flash that is working pretty, pretty much better than N95 8 gigabyte. It's not the quality that the Xenium flash of the N82 can give you, but we are almost there. Quality of the pictures is pretty good and thanks to the cover, the lens are always protected. The battery is huge, BL5K, that gives you 1200 mAh of energy. That can take you and not at the end of the day. In fact, uh, this phone has always also Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 2.0, so no problems with stereo handset, but also you have the AGPS. So when you do navigation, really you need a travel charger for your car or you need to bring your charger with you because it really drains your battery, the GPS. And uh, we can say also the, that the GPS is very precise. We didn't expect that it's so much precise. It's, it's really better than the N95 8 gigabyte or the N95 normal edition. On the other side of the phone, you have the slot for the micro SD card, up to 16 gigabytes for now. In the box should be one of 8 gigabytes. The phone has 74 megabytes of internal dynamic memory and 78 internal NAT flash memory. So it's pretty enough with the Symbian S60 3rd edition feature pack 2. The feature pack 2 has some nice and new features. We can find the application update. This is a new application that lets you know through internet connection if you, the application that you have downloaded from Nokia or from third part have a new release. There is an update, there is a new application of one that you already downloaded. So this really helps you to track the update of your application. The phone is not small, also if compared with the other smartphone that comes before. It's a bit skinnier than the other one, in fact, we have something like 103 per 50 per 16 millimeter. The weight is 128 grams. And really looks like the N81 with the feature of N95. We don't have to forget that you have also radio, FM, but also FM transmitter, so you can stream directly to your stereo in the car or in your house. Direct share online to upload your media on the web. Of course, make a internet connection for fair or flat. And uh, one of And on the top, that we forgot to tell, you have the 3.8 millimeter jack that is also useful for uh, the cable to connect with the monitor or, or uh, a TV to see your content. Turning on and off button, but also to choose the different profile. And we have a micro USB slot that gives you the possibility not only to sync but also to charge. 